Hey, welcome back to Paramedic Project. Thanks for joining us once again today. Next episode in our episode series on the basic adult medical cardiac arrest. And uh, we've talked already about these all important decisions that get made in the first few moments of the cardiac arrest. So first of all, is the patient in cardiac arrest? Then do we need to move the patient? Then do we need to defibrillate the patient? And after those first few moments, we've set up the scene, we've got our great early cares in, then we're really getting into that treatment flow of the case and we're shooting for the five minute mark. So the treatment flow of the case at this stage is a very specific skill that we do in the pre-hospital environment where we're seamlessly rotating through our couple of CPR operators we've got and in amongst that seamless rotation, of course that ensures that the patient gets great quality CPR all the time. But in amongst that seamless rotation, we've got timely interpretation of the cardiac rhythm and defibrillation if required. So that's kind of what that treatment flow looks like. But in my experience, it's really great to shoot for that five minute mark because a couple of things happen at that five minute mark. And uh, usually what happens is your eyes come up from the patient a little bit. And what I mean by that is you start seeing your surroundings a little bit. You've been focused on the patient uh, up until this stage. At about the five minute mark, you start seeing the surroundings, what their living circumstances might be like. You might get some more clinical information back about the patient, some information about the medications they take, information about their past medical history. And often at the five minute mark is about the time where we get a bit more of a secondary survey done on the patient also. And this often means that we get some more information about the patient's clinical state and often we see signs of hypostasis and post-mortem lividity that we hadn't seen before then. So the five minute mark is a really important time because that's when we form a plan for the patient. And obviously we verbalize that plan to keep our work team on the same page and to keep those lines of communication open with the family. And that plan then will either mean ongoing resus, might mean ongoing resus with um, prioritization of the placement of a, an advanced airway in the near future for this patient. And if we find signs that the patient's actually passed away quite a while before we've arrived there, and obviously the resource at that stage is futile, and then we start planning around ongoing care of the patient's family. We obviously communicate that with our work team to make sure that everybody's happy with the decision to stop resuscitating the patient. But at that stage, if we decide to stop, then the folks of our care switches from the patient to the patient's family and friends to make sure that they've got the ongoing support that they need. It's been Paramedic Project. Thanks for joining us once again. Find us on social media and we'll see you next time.